in class 11 we have studied that gravitation and electrostatic force are conservative in nature that means there i have shown you that two body attracts each other with a force which is directly proportional to the product of those two bodies and inversely proportional to the square of distance between those two bodies center of those two bodies here also the same thing is applicable and you can see through Coulomb's law that any two bodies, any two charged attracts each other or interacts with each other with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. And that is what the Coulomb's law is. Huh. As I told, Coulomb's law. You can see these two charge, plus Q1 and plus Q2. They are separated by a distance R. So they both being positive charge, they will repel each other with a force. And this force is directly proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. And this, when I combine, it becomes F is, is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 by R square, where 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is a constant. Here epsilon naught is decides the magnitude of the force between the two charge and it depends upon the medium in which those two charge is placed and this epsilon naught is said to be absolute electrical permittivity of free space air or vacuum and this epsilon naught has a value of 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 meter coulomb square per newton per meter square and the constant 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught has a value of 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square. And you have to remember the value of epsilon naught and 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught henceforth. And that will be easy for you to solve the numericals. So I repeat, Coulomb's law, any two point stationary charge interacts with each other with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. So now I will find the dimension of this new physical quantity epsilon naught. As I've told you in class 11 that whenever you come across a new physical quantity you should find its dimension. So we have to find the dimension of this epsilon naught and you can see f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square. So epsilon naught becomes 1 by 4 pi f q1 q2 by r square. You know dimension of charge is charge is equal to a t. You know since current is equal to current is equal to uh, is equal to rate of flow of charge. So i is equal to dq by dt. Therefore q becomes equal to current into time. So epsilon naught is your 1 epsilon naught is 1 by 4 pi f q1 q2 by r square. We'll put the dimension of all these physical quantities and hence you can see we come to this. That means dimension of epsilon naught is m to the power minus 1, l to the power minus 2, t to the power 4 and a square. So we have discussed the properties of electrical charge and Coulomb's law in this video. And we have discussed here the Coulomb's law when the charges are placed in free space, air or vacuum. And in the subsequent video, we'll discuss Coulomb's law when the charges are placed in any other medium.